But the flames were just too intense. How firefighters risked their lives to attempt a rescue and why this fire was so difficult to fight. Gun rights groups are taking aim at the state house. Find out why they want access to suppressors and why they say lawmakers are behind the times in approving them. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 6. Getting around Urbandale was tough this morning, and in northern Iowa, it was much worse. There were whiteout conditions that brought traffic to a standstill. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters. Thank you for being with us tonight. The accident started stacking up along I-35 this afternoon. Eventually, the DOT had to shut it down between Ames and Clear Lake. The good news, the winds are starting to die down. So we begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson with the first look. They are starting to die down, but you know what? It's still going to be breezy tonight through tomorrow. In fact, wind gusts are still around.